Today we're going to go through how to use the help request system. This is just a basic tutorial on how to use the system. It's fairly intuitive, fairly simple. Here we're going to go ahead and log in and we'll just use our regular username and password that we would use in the network. Even if we change our password, that password will still work here as it's integrated. We'll go ahead and log in and you can click on the automatically log me in and next time you won't have to, you won't be prompted to log in. Okay, first screen we're going to come to is the help request. You can see up here on the top there's some options, history, FAQs, message, profile, and your logout. We're going to go ahead and first thing we're going to do is click on a request type. Any type of request that we have available is going to be here. Maintenance, technology, and later on probably HR and some other types. But for now we're just going to focus on what we see here. Technology is what we're going to select and here we have application, hardware, network, and those options. When we click on those it will also give us the options that are sub-options of those. So we're going to go ahead and click on applications in house, the ones that have been written in house. Um, we're going to have a subject here. and then just a short description. And then we can also add files here. It's kind of a nice feature to be able to add files. Since we don't have anything to add here, we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and move this down. And you can see down here at the bottom the bottom right over here there's a save button we'll go ahead and click on the save button and as you can see it's going to go ahead and work and it's going to go ahead and send that request to the person who's assigned that now we can see that request again we can either click on request to get a new request type or click on history to see the history of that request. If we click here on this number seven, we can also see here's all the things that we put in. If you look over here to the bottom right hand side, you can also add a new note, save, cancel, cancel the ticket even over here to the upper right hand side. This allows you to be able to do whatever and it will also send an email to the person who's been assigned this request. Also, when this request has been finished, an email will be sent to you that lets you know that it's been done. You'll also be presented then with a short survey that you can take if you'd like to give feedback on the kind of service that you received there. Here we also see a profile. If we click on profile, you can see here that that gives us the opportunity to do some things with basically just our profile. Here's also where we can pass, save our passwords or change our passwords. And then if you click back up here on top, you can see there's also messages. This messages button is just for within this system. It's not an email. It's nothing to, the, to that effect. However, there are some times when you'll see um, the option to send an email. Sometimes on these requests, you'll see a little, a little envelope. And when you click on that, it will send an email to, to the person who's working on this request. And that's pretty much wraps it up in a nutshell.